Hi guys and welcome to 123MIT's video on how to install Viber on your iPhone 3G running 4.2.1 Okay guys, so basically the way we're going to install it today is by installing the White Door 6 firmware Okay, so what I would suggest to you guys, um, I've got my iPhone uh, 3G here and um, you can see in the Apple, um, uh, in the iTunes here it's running 4.2.1 okay so what I would suggest to you guys before attempting this one just make sure you do a backup and make sure you back up any data that's on your phone because it will actually wipe um, installing the white door firmware will actually uh, wipe any data off your phone so make sure you do a backup that's really important okay um, and then if you have any problems you can always do a restore of your iPhone and then you can back up restore back up your data on your iPhone okay now there's tutorials on my website which will show you how to do that in more in depth so go to my website 123myt.com and just do a search for um, backup and restore data um, on my website okay so what do we need to do to get the white door firmware on here there's also on my website there's a white door firmware video so if you go into a search bar type in 123myit and then click on the link that says 123MyIT, your complete IT help portal. Alright, let's maximise that window there. Now, um, there's loads of really good videos on here that shows you how to do all lo like, um, loads of stuff. Um, you can do a search here and you can type in anything in the search bar and there it will bring it up. But if, if we're looking for firmware, we need to go to the download section. Alright, and then we need to go down to where it says White Door Firmware, and the one we want is um, there's a bit of a spiel here on the on the firmware. I'll just read it out quickly. White Door Firmware is a custom firmware designed to allow you to install apps which are no longer supported by the Apple uh, by the current Apple firmware. Okay, features include voice control, faster performance, greater app support, and video recording. Um, there are two types of firmware. This part's important, guys. Um, you should use white door normal f version if your device is activated via iTunes and if you don't need a carrier unlock all others should choose the white door unlock firmware okay so <coughs> I'm going to scroll down to white door 6 uh, iPhone 3G and I'm going to use the, the the normal firmware firmware okay so if I just minimize that there okay so we hold down our shift button and then hit restore iPhone All right. then we want to go into the iPhone 3G normal WD6 IPSW file go open alright you can see it says it's uh, preparing the iPhone to restore so what it's actually going to do now guys is going to wipe everything on your phone Okay, and then it's going to install the White Door 6 uh, firmware, and that will actually have the uh, Viber installed on it. Um, really easy to, to download and set up, and I'll show you how to do that, and I'll show you how to get it running. All right, so I'm just going to stop the video for a sec while this goes through. It's going to take a little while, and then I'll start it back up uh, when when we've um, when this has gone through. All right, guys. Hi guys, so um, okay, so that's gone through now and your, your phone should look a bit like this so you should have all the apps and all the different interface on it um, what I did have, I did have uh, some actual problems trying to restore the firmware um, what I, I was getting a, a USB problem USB error which is a, a, an Apple error was 1604 so if you get that error while you, when you're trying to restore the firmware um, what I would suggest is um, just try to jailbreak the phone first um, and you can look through my videos there's a there's a jailbreak one there as well so just run that first and then try doing the um, firmware upgrade okay so now that we've got the firmware upgrade what we need to do is go into to install the Viber we need to go into the app market okay yep just want to hit confirm there go into time machine all 
Right. Now, Time Machine is basically um, like a, a, an app market for all the older apps to go on the iPhone uh, 3G. So if we just scroll down, it's a little bit slow. Scroll down to social networking. All right, and then scroll down to. Let's see where the fiber is. I've gone past it. There we go. So Viber. So press install on Viber. Now once you hit install, you have to actually go back to the top and just hit OK. <coughs> All right, and then you can see your downloads if you hit your downloads button down the bottom. You'll see that download coming through. That's probably going to take about one or two minutes. I'll just pause it there and uh, we'll come back to the video in a sec. Okay, so the vibe is almost downloaded there. It's just on 97%. Alright, and it just says, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's saying installing. Fiber successfully installed. So if we go back to our apps here, press on the Viber. Right, it says, do you want to uh, allow push no notifications? You just want to hit OK on that one, and then hit Continue. All right, yeah, and just want to give it access to our address book. Just hit OK. All right, and we need to put in the phone number. So let's pop that in now. Bear with me a sec. Okay, and then we'll just come up and it's going to say uh, you need to do, uh, we'll send a, a, an SMS code. You can't see it there, there we go. So 3229 just popped up. 3229, okay, from Viber, SMS that came through. It's a bit hard to see there. There we go. Okay, enter your name, so let's put in 123 my IT. And hit done. And then done again. All right, and there you go. So literally, you've got your your Viber account all logged in, and all seems to work. Excellent. All right, guys. So thanks for watching there. Um, if this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because I try to update the videos every day, and uh, give this one a try. Um, also, jump on my website and have a look at some of the other tutorials there. There's some great stuff there as well. Alright guys, and don't forget to leave some feedback. Uh, if you have any questions on anything, please feel free to ask. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.